As the construction manager for O'Neill Landscaping, Tyler Haley finds himself doing not just the planning, but lots of the labor too. Because the business still has to go on, you know, whether some, it's me on my hands and knees or somebody else. He'd ideally have a crew of six with him on any project. These days it's often three. The business's owner cites a declining work ethic among younger people and another dilemma hitting the heart of an able-bodied population. I've already gone through three or four guys we've had to let go this year because of suspicion of or confirmation of a drug issue. The job market feeling the impact of the opioid epidemic. For a lot of people newly in recovery, it is very difficult. The director of Safe Harbor in Portsmouth says most people in recovery want to work. They're probably a lot stronger, more reliable, and very appreciative of the opportunity. And that recovery depends on a roof over their head and a job. Providing a person with a second chance, I think, is a wonderful thing, not only for the individual, the families, as well as the community. A struggle for all involved. Everyone interviews well. Uh, it's after that when, you, when things come out of the woodwork and you have to decide to part ways or give them a chance. The director of Safe Harbor says ideally there would be a system in place to help employers get workers help before they have to let them go. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.